will get into something here. Yeah, they're able to reset, reset a really good job by Martino following her shot. But then they throw it away there. Cassandra Brown once again everywhere. The with center that center running the floor. Been getting rewarded. I've been talking about it all game. People have been sleeping on the defense of Cassandra Brown. I mean, she's really just been everywhere, shooting the pass. You just got to be a sound defender, you know. You can't reach in. And, and like I mentioned, you're going to get rewarded there in a steal from Cassandra Brown. Sadibe back to Brown, laid it in. And uh, showed us her range, but she's just really off-balance bucket there, just off the glass. She's just looking so poised. Two-player game here to get Brown open, weaving her way for the end one. To be agile and move and weave in between. The Smichael emerges with it. Cutting it back for Brown. Holds it, shoots it, and scores it. Well done there by Brown. This is going to be an issue uh, throughout the, the season if they don't clean that up. Brown. Oh, helping Rutgers, saving Rutgers on that possession. Multiple teams and multiple conferences just bringing that veteran leadership. There's Cassandra Brown in the center and feeds it to a cutting Sidibe for two. Great connection. Yeah, she loves that side. You know, even <laughs> though she finishes with a little character on the right. It's not exactly what they are known for, but they are not shy about taking a chance from behind the three-point line. Around the perimeter, and Brown finishes it off with the jumper. Late shot clock here as that one's blocked away. They are listening and learning and evolving trying to get it done on both ends of the court. Three goes down, a much needed one. She's up to near 28 minutes a game now, and it's the conditioning factor. She is in such great shape, works so hard in the offseason. Cassandra Brown at the opposite end. Brown, that transfer from St. Peter's, positions herself for a two-on-one break. Nice pass set up by Kai Carter. Carter looks her off, gets it inside. She has had to follow Mike Sell all over the court and, and has learned a lot about defending her today. The steal from Cassandra Brown, speaking of defense, able to turn it into offense at the other end. 21 for Smichael with the basketball right now. Oh, a nice spin move from Cassandra Brown. She's had herself a nice fourth quarter. Team points, six of eight from the field, muscling it. Don't cut him out too soon. That 90 still within yeah, striking that's distance. That's true for this scene. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! goes down. Brown stays hot. And earlier she gets the steal and score. Oh, by the way, I can hit the three too. Yeah, I think they're going to let her get active early, try to find her on the perimeter. McKenzie lost the handle, and it's taken away by Rutgers. They're going to need to break out of a drought. 6-0 Illinois scoring run. Three up top good. That'll do it. Young, a two-time all-conference pick. But Rutgers once again gets points in the paint. Brown sets up Cornwell. Look inside. Hill shares to Young, who gets bottled up. Brown and Smichael were there as Brown tries to gain positioning. They feed it to her, a triple team, and that's the right pass. Santonia Bates, good on three. You're right, that's the right pass right there. The referees are going to call that, and there's been a lot of travels here today. Chen will advise pass to Mitchell, and Princeton gives it right back. Sidibe, oh, it ends up finding Lafayette, and she got it. Referees move your feet, but, I mean, their length just really makes up for it. Brown. Yes, another and one for Rutgers. I was working at the beginning, which is attacking the paint. Princeton was letting them live in the paint early in the game, and you saw Brown there cleared out for her. As it bounces off. Brown from three. Book it! In fact, both of these teams, Megan, have struggled with turning the ball over 0.57 and 0.51 in assist to turnover ratio, respectively, for these squads as Sidibe gets the seal inside and finishes the easy one. Sidibe hands it to Smichael, five to shoot. Brown on the wing, she'll have to try a three. That one good, Cassandra Brown knocks down the deep ball for the Scarlet Knights. Two set up, back Brown, Brown fakes. Drives at Brigham, leaves it for Cornwell, who lays it up and in. Beautiful pass by Brown. Player of the year, Katie Benson, was also another Ivy League star that 
played at Maryland as a grad, transfer. The spin and one, the birthday girl. Is doing just that. A little spin cycle, pivot, split the defense that's coming from the help side up the basket line. Nice strong footwork and finish. She's not gonna soak because her shot's not falling. I mean, she has four steals, she's got a couple of assists. Doing other things to help impact the game. Cassandra Brown counters with her own three-point play. She stood up, she was gonna get trampled on. She got tangled up, and then she just decided, you know what, if I get up, it's gonna be worse. <laughs> 14 turnovers against Michigan, but the last game against Indiana, they lost 21. Right, and Amy Williams says, hey, we're not a team that can turn teams over easily as Rutgers gets another bucket in the lane. In fact, it's only freshmen who've scored to start off this third quarter. Brown in trouble, pulls that bucket out of her hat. Five seconds for Sidibe. She'll put up a three, too strong. Smeichel flying in for the offensive four. And there's Brown sidestepping everyone. Off the miss, here comes Smeichel. He's not staying patient and then just sidesteps everybody. Somewhat off balance yet still finishes towards the rim. And the sidestep of Misha, even a little bit. To avoid a shot clock violation, lob inside, stolen away anyway. And sneaking out ahead, Sadibe beating everyone. Bates. Heads up play by Brown, gets a steal, then the pass. And the pass is great because Smith. This is Awa Sadibe. Could give it inside to Cassandra Brown. A pass into Cornwell, and she lays it in. Good defense by Myers, trying to force that turnover. Rutgers does a good job to get that over half court. Pass inside, looking for Cornwell again. And the only forward listed on this roster. Peanut butter, no jelly on that. That's all good. It's a nice idea. And now Rutgers with a three on one. Brown leaving the break. And Sidibe kind of got stuck, but put it off the glass. The Blues defensively. Feel you on the drive. Yeah, I asked her if she was 5'9", and she <laughs> made sure to tell me that extra inch was important. Oh, pass in to Cornwell, and a great bounce pass there under the Michigan State defense. As Hageman taking it over to the right. Into Ruers, but just too long. You notice two different presses here. Oh, Sidibe looked out of control, but found Brown for an easy lay-in. Turn turnovers into easy points. Michael picked up her dribble, and Brown open again, laying in for two more past Thompson. And Parrish thought the foul call was on right. her first, so the crowd reacts to what happens on the court all the time. Brown inside triple team momentarily steps through and scores plus one. Berger's the other leader, the most experienced player on this court for Indiana. Brown makes a move against Geary, steps through and scores. The most prolific three-point shooters at Holy Cross, now one year at Wisconsin, doing it. On the other end, Cassandra Brown through some contacts. Floor and Sadibe in control, finding her down low. This is what they did all, time, all game long against Penn State right now. Got to find the shooters. The Barbara perfect, the rest of the Badgers are one of 11. Brown takes a try and she says, I can answer. One basket separating Rutgers and Wisconsin. Cassandra Brown with just the second three. She's just so pure out there knocking it down. You cannot leave her open. She just had too much time. Brown inside and one. On that, everyone not paying attention. She's somebody you got to locate. For Purdue. Brown tries a three. It's good! KB showing you that she's a stretch five. Bench. Well, Waltman is, or this is the last three from Brown. You see there a nice job. Not able to get it to go. She came into this game the last three, 14 of 15 from the floor. That includes five of five against Indiana. And that includes Mackenzie Holmes. Walsh passes out. Cassandra Brown was bothering her. And now Sidibe has the steal. Two on two, Bates steps through. Walsh fading away, no. 
And Smichael has it. Ahead for Brown. What a catch. What a lay-in. Acrobatic stuff. Don't know how she was able to bring this one home, but she does. Keeps her composure and lays it in. Rutgers up one now with Kayleen Smichael to Cassandra Brown. It'll be Kai Carter taking it out for this last look into Cassandra Brown. Knew exactly how much time she had and won. Eight different times this season, including most recently against Northwestern, six of six. First, Hartley was in the rotation, really didn't get off the bench as of late. A key piece of this Michigan team takes charges defensively and not afraid to be aggressive. The teaching moment, rather than let them see it through a few possessions down the line when that play might be in the rear view mirror. Nolan on the wing, throws it down low, Wolverines. It's that next woman up mentality that Illinois is operating with. Sidibe spins, shares, and it's an and one as Cassandra Brown gets to the 10. And you said it, I mean, Shoe Pill, 6 3 out of the game. You got to attack all of the bigs here. I mean, you're, they're down one, they're having to adjust. That was a terrific spin move from Sidibe. And Cassandra Brown, credit, she was really coming into her own, had 22 points against them. Brown. Stepping inside and two long strides for Cassandra Brown. Northwestern needs to get a paint touch on this possession to force Rutgers to collapse down into the paint. Blocked by the Scarlet Knights. Rainey tried to take it right back, but she can't. Into the same post conversation as players like Mackenzie Holmes, Alexis Markowski, that dominate the paint and rebound. He's trying to corn well, dials up the mid range. Eagles getting the assignment on Kayleen Smythe. Well, she's got four points so far. Three seconds on the clock. Goes up and under, was patient, and there is Brown cleaning up the glass. A great shot blocker. We talked about it last year with Coach Washington. She just has an eye for following the basketball. Knocked it right out your hand as Cassandra takes it to the basket. Brown, skip, Herter on a triple. She got it. First career three for Jillian Herter, first of many. Situations before we talk about that defense, we got to see Herter knock it down. Good for third best in Rutgers program history. When you score like she does, you'll get hit like she did and continues to. Herter, that's a great look. Couldn't hit it. Brown on the offensive glass. Great find of Smichael. The Gamecocks, of which this Scarlet Knights team faced in an exhibition. They're well acquainted with that kind of challenge. Great extra pass. Good look from Brown to China Cornwell for an easy two. I caught in between two ideas there. Michael was waiting for one of her teammates to run hard with her. Now blocked by Brown as Rutgers takes it back. Coach Thibaut Dijonis really likes Lauren Beach because of her versatility. Errant pass there, but Lauren Beach can play inside, outside, can certainly battle with the post players. She calls them rim runners. Coach Thibaut Dodonis is like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you cannot have her. She's mine. Duck inside and one for Cassandra Brown. Lafayette trapped in the corner. And now Rutgers gets it moving. Cassandra Brown, Euro step. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. On the ball, defense has been on point so far. Uh, Bates lost it off the cross. Tenth turnover for RU. What a spin, but KB got it. Cassandra Brown with a block. Staying poised. And here is Bates, the six foot three athletic sort of Swiss Army knight for this team. Feeding Brown, who absorbs the contact for the two. Rutgers dropped both of those games, but had chances to win in the final minute of both. And it's things like that. Bates, four points tonight, five rebounds, three assists. Look inside from Fiona Connolly, who just checked in. Sophomore backup guard, but it's taken away. And now Herter, no looks for Brown, and one! That's been one big issue for LaSalle tonight. Nine of 25 from distance. Rutgers, meanwhile, better three-point shooting as Brown dimes up Smichael. The rehab that she had to do to get back in the spot where she felt comfortable out there on the floor. 
Largest lead of the game for Indiana. Oh. And Brown cuts into it right there. Kenzie Holmes has. Her fundamentals are so sound. The quickness of her hips, her footwork, it is something to see. Sandra Brown, a beautiful spin. Because you really just had three players who wanted to come back at the end of last season that didn't graduate. Another three falls. Cassandra Brown. They have a green light from there. It's not going to change. Just because shots haven't always been falling, and now they come up with a stop. They've got numbers on the other end. Amor gives it back. That was rejected. From a low vantage point of five foot nine, able to really see everything, looks like a step ahead. And one on the other end for Cassandra Brown. This is a nice move as we watch the replay. Takes the bump, knows she has the opportunity. Just throw. But they have the early lead here. Petticorn lofts it inside. Spinning is Brown. Absorbs the contact and scores. Brown off the head fake. Can't get Walsh in the air, but she finds Adams who puts it in. A really smart move by Adams. Rutgers putting on some pressure. The three-quarter court press. Terry driving inside. The Euro step is blocked by Cassandra Brown. And that's a loose ball. We'll see how they call it. A big concern for the Hawkeyes was Rutgers on the glass, but at the timeout, they had a plus five margin. And how about the three from Cassandra Brown opening things up for the Scarlet Knights? She shot great last March, a huge reason why Iowa was able to make that run to the national championship game. Now she's able to do it again as China Cornwall gets the bucket to go. That chemistry, whether that be because everyone's a veteran or the transfers have just picked out or the teams that have found success early. Oh, an opportunity for three. Cassandra Brown will go to the free throw line. Brown just posting up down there. Three-pointer rattles home and draws the contact. Yeah, but Rutgers not giving up either, and they're still competing and playing hard. Rutgers team that, as we've talked about, wants to play quick and score a bunch of points under Coquise Washington. Easy buckets have been a part of that. And Cassandra Brown starting the second half where she started the first. Thompson, a call she gambled that time and it cost her team two points. One thing I think that does not get talked about enough for Penn State is their length. Wow, Rutgers this time breaks the press to perfection. We'll take a look. Allie Brigham gets forced. Her being on the floor is going to be key for Rutgers, so definitely want to keep an eye on that. Don't want to pick up any fouls in that, in that way. Bates somehow picked out Brown. What a feed. Both teams have hit their last four shots each. What a time for the offenses to spark up. Filia, the blow by, the Euro, but a block by Brown. Well over her season average on the year. Down low, Thompson spins and scores. Yeah. See me, that's Cassandra Brown. Credit to Coach Washington for cruising and putting this team together. It was inside, wild shot, and it goes down. Four, Brown, and one. What a play there. Get it down low, takes the contact, and my goodness. Grabbed by Copeland, trying to get a pass away. Has it ripped away by Brown. Steal for Rutgers, and now there the other way. Herter, pull up three, yes! How does Wisconsin respond? The game tightening up, not. Great with that possession, Alice Brown with the steal. Back for Herter, another three. It's good. Jillian Herter, two straight threes. There's the steal from Brown. And finding the trailer, and that's the one that you can't leave open. And Jillian Herter has shot Rutgers back into this thing. And Rutgers has it down to six with a chance to make it one score. Herter another one. This one no good. And the rebound grabbed by Brown inside Adams. And it's a four point game. She has to put it on the deck. 
post to post and links up with Destiny Adams, who has Rutgers' first four points. Now here's Herder, the freshman. I mentioned young players in roles they're not used to as Brown swishes in a three. And a nice response for Rutgers here. Averaging almost 15 points a game herself. Brown, perfect positioning for the and one. Saw her facilitate. We saw her run the floor, find her players, but this time gets positioning inside and scores a tough one down low. Just taking her time and being decisive about what she wants to do once she gets the basketball. And she's definitely eliminated those turnovers as the season goes on. A three on two, and Rutgers once runs the break. Brown, the three pointer. Knocked down. She had an open one. Oscars. Also, fans, check out the video board. Brown with it down low. Good move by Brown, and the hoop. And an opportunity for a three point play for Cassandra Brown. Brown. Off the bench, she's got 13, five already above her per game average. Heard her off the screen. Markowski extends again. Open look from Brown. She knocks it down. Game two for two from beyond the arc. Yeah, she's off to a great start. Feet set, ready to score it. With the long rebound. Carter loses control. Nice dish. Close, Left close hand close. Adams. By the Huskers there. But it has been a Rutgers here in quarter three. They've extended the lead up by six. She has got to get after her guards to get her the ball. Time for her to start taking over and get aggressive to finish this half. Drive by Brown. Two more for Brown. That ties her season high. Listen, Team USA, give Kalia Copper a roster spot. She is unbelievable. The quickest first step, not just in the WNBA. Another turnover. Brown, the post all the way. I'm seeing contributions up and down so far. Sandra Brown, a hard take right at Williams, trying to make something happen. 27-9, Michigan with the lead. Lights out shooting at 61% as Brown gets the burst to the rim. Four-point lead for the Scarlet Knights. Oh, man. Adams connects on a marvelous feed from Cassandra Brown. Outscored Minnesota by 10 in the second quarter, by four in the third, and they get the first two points here in the fourth, thanks to Cassandra Brown. Setting the pace of this game, because after they get a stop defensively, they are looking to score quickly. Brown hits Rutgers' first three of the day. Running out on the offensive side, and Brown, when she's able to knock down some threes, can Rutgers... Here's Jillian Herter. Down low, and the lay-in is good. It'll be an and-one opportunity for Cassandra Brown as Rutgers sometimes just need a way to get a bucket. If you're Rutgers, they only had one, and that's so big for the Scarlet Knights going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, they've played well here in the third quarter. Brown's going to put up the jumper and hit it. As the third quarter expires, in that third quarter, outscoring Maryland 27. It's another steal here for Rutgers as they're pushing the ball up the court. Can they get some transition points? And yes, sir, they can. All the way across the floor, it does not matter. That is what Didi Hageman does best. That's why she's the assist leader on this team. As we have an and one here from Cassandra Brown. Brown downstairs. And one. What can Cassandra Brown do for you? I recognize that that double team was coming. Spin the opposite way is what you do if you're a big like Cassandra Brown. And she gave a quick glance over to see Lau coming. She's still trying to get that deflection. But she's got to be careful, though. That's her second foul. She's led this team offensively so well. Brown gets it to go. To Maya Pettacord and Lisa Thompson. 
High-low, you can see Brown working. Cassandra Brown. 